Hello, Akron fans! This is Shadow 363 bringing you another exhibition match stream. And this week, starting out with Monguki and Golda on Tomb of Heroes. Let's move to land this one. Monguki starting out on the east side of the map. Going to be like going for Vekir as he tends to do. Golda on the other hand. And yes, indeed. Monguki going for Vekir. Golda on the other hand going for Vekir as well. So we have Vekir mirror on Tomb of Heroes, which. Really needs no introduction. It's been played a lot. It is a map that anyone who's been watching this for any decent amount of time will know. And it's Yeah, it's a map to, it's played a lot, so. If I've explained it before, and I'll definitely be showing probably all of it off this map, depending on where the players go south. Oftentimes player will players will just kinda stay in the center area. They won't necessarily go south unless they need to get the resources. Going north is not uncommon. Cybernetic Pony tends to kill off these comm hubs. No one else really tends to do that. Taking the north statue expansion, I've seen done in one game actually recently between... I think it was Catalyte and Golda? But I'm not sure. I can't remember offhand. Anyway. Monkuki is... He is going for, it looks like, his typical foundation rush. Golda, on the other hand is attacking from, well, scouting along the north lane and the south lane, and really desperate to get his RPs up as soon as he possibly can. But we will see that Golda's scouting forces will be torn apart by Mon Cookies. At least, yep, completely torn apart by Mon Cookies. Golda is not focused too much on this, and actually, these are on move orders. They are not on attack orders, they are on move orders. They end up actually distracting Mon Cookies forces. Not sure if Monkey is going to change that around or what. But. One sec. Anyway, I will be interesting to see exactly what Monkey does because he is going to have to get his forces forward. Golda figures out that Monkey is, in fact, going for a foundation rush, though Golda did not need a scout to know that. He just needed to have seen Monkey play before because this is what Monkey does every single game. I have yet to see a game Monku he has played where he has not gone for all the infantry towards his opponent's base into a foundation rush. Sometimes it gets echoed out, usually does, not always, against good players like Golda or Cybernetic Pony. It tends to, just because they tend to counter enough that Monku he cannot keep it going without losing the game outright. Anyway, Monku he, double checking his point of view at the present, looks like he is... well... According to the Green Time, he has in fact pulled his forces away from the distraction of Golda's Tethvir and is attacking directly. Not setting foundations yet, but he will be pretty much now, I imagine. Yep, there it is. Foundation going down. I'd be a bit surprised if he didn't jump back a minute or two. He is jumping back a couple minutes. Whether he echoes this out, we'll see, but I was about to say he'd probably jump back a minute or two and build the foundation that much sooner. Not sure if he's going to do that, but it looks like he is not even focused at that point in time. Setting up Zion Vir. Okay, he is going all out on this one. Rallying Zion Veer straight into Golda's base, and Golda, on the other hand, Golda is setting up exactly what he was doing before. Five LCRPs, one QPRP. In fact, sending his scouts home, echoing out their scouting in the first place. Which should be adequate defense, especially with auto defense being researched. I believe... I thought I heard auto defense being researched, but apparently I was wrong. Not on the timeline, and we don't see any indication of it on here. So I guess that was very brief and undone. Mongui is... He is sending out Zion Veer. Got a couple of them coming forward. I I won't be surprised if Mongui goes for a proxy depot. Although it would be a little surprised if he went from the south and went for proxy depot. Normally go in the north in this field rather than going in the south. Although we did see a game with... Actually, it was Catalyte because he built up a ton of, of importers and armories along this ridge. Right at the top of the terracing. I don't think Monkey is going to go for that. It's not really his style. His style... I mean, he will sometimes do that. As soon as he, we don't see a game with him versus Pony on Imperium, he did that exact thing, although that was after the Foundation Rush failed. And that actually didn't work out either, but it was a close-run thing. Anyway, Golda is in fact going for Auto Defense. I was not mistaken. He is going for Auto Defense, which will help. What he has now is an adequate set of units. If he builds a Foundation, that'll be it. There's no way that Monkey would be able to break through this. Even with the Zion Veer, even with 
The only way maybe we have Proxy Depot turning these Zion Veer that are coming behind, turning them into Zion Pulsers. But that seems unlikely. Although this foundation is actually far enough away that could happen. We'll see what Monkey plans on doing with this. Foundation has been built up. Golda does have auto defense. And actually, it looks like Monkey is going to be setting up a foundation for depots. Far enough away, and it's not been spotted by Golda. Golda is actually not aware of this. He is building foundations of his own. Infantry will not break this. They simply will not break it. Not the numbers that exist so far. However, it looks like Mongoogie is giving it a shot. The rally point apparently not being overridden. So, these two Zion Veer here, the ones that are coming in back, which Mongoogie is actually slightly behind Golda, so I can look at his point of view. The Zion Veer coming in are rallied straight into Golda's base. They are not attacking directly, but it looks like Mongoogie is attacking. He does have a proxy depot. He did, in fact, go for that. However, he is very quickly realizing what Golda has prepared, and that this is going to be extremely tricky for Mongoogie to get through. Like I said, building a Zion Pulsar wouldn't be too bad, but Golda can just keep building foundations. And right now, he does see the depot. He knows it exists. He knows that he's going to have to deal with Zion Pulsars pretty soon. Getting his own depot as well. The only reprieve from this auto defense foundation. But Golda switching his foundation. Displacement, so that he can easily push them forward to deal with the, the depot directly. And the depot hasn't even started to build anything yet. In fact, the depot's going to go down pretty quickly. I can't imagine any of the Zion viewers coming in quickly enough. There is actually one right here. But Mongoogie has not decided to use it yet, and I don't know if he will. I should double check. No, there's gotta be. A, there has gotta be a Zion Pulsar. Yeah, okay, never mind. Further back, Zion Pulsar has been built. And Mongoogie with his signature Depot Micro pulling it back in. Not a bad move there, but still, Gota just has way too much defensive support here. Three foundations healing with auto defense on top of his infantry. There's just no way that the Zion Pulse is going to be able to do any meaningful damage. None at all. This deep is going to go down before the Zion Pulse repairs again, and... Actually, is it even going to matter? I think the Zion Pulse is going to jump into the depot just for the depot to die with the Zion Pulse inside it. Mongoogie has paused it. But even then, it won't matter, and down goes the Zion Veer, down goes the depot as well, and... Well, there's that. That is completely gone. Mongoogie has apparently gone for a bit of a backup strategy. He is building more Zion Veer. Not rallying them into his base, though. One of them is retreating from Golda's base, and the other one that has just been produced, it needs to be retreated. I think Mongoogie is going to tell it. There it goes. Orders it back in, and now Mongoogie is trying to go for a bit of an economic recovery. But Golda, just, he's going to go for Depot, probably going to go for Aerial Control Center. And from there, he'll just build up a massive army. He has had an economic advantage the entire game. Five and four compared to basically two and two. Or two and one, probably. Monkey's way behind economically. Gota can build an aerial control center. He could... I don't think he's going to save up for gate tech, and I don't think it'd be a good idea to do so. But yeah, he could just get build an ACC. Getting a couple Zion Pulsars right off, and likely... No, apparently not. Apparently he has forgotten he doesn't have an ACC right now. Needs that aerial control center. Bit surprised he hasn't built it. Why is he... Okay, that's just weird. That or Golda is just trying to set up orders in advance. No, that's just a mistake. That is just a mistake. Eh. Yeah, Cybernate Pony pointed out in the chat. Mongoogie does indeed need to stop cheesing because, well, Mongoogie is not making it work. And apparently in the chat, Mongoogie was trying to push forward Golda's changes and basically get, get his counterattack on the wrong part of the timeline for the edge attack to work out. And it didn't work out, unfortunately, for him. I'm not sure if he realizes the past, ed the unplayable past edge, I should say, does have a time wave on it. So doing that sort of thing is rather tricky, if not impossible. Like, whenever you commit to an edge attack, whatever your opponent's last actions are before the edge attack, that's what's happening. So trying to propagate your opponent's actions faster than they are, not a winning strategy, I'm afraid. Not likely to be, anyway. Mongoogie jumping back to the 630 mark, getting a depot up while Golda coming in with two Zion Pulsers a Teth Pulsar, and that's about it. The Shinveer just moving it forward. Not attacking from the looks of it, but three Zion Turchers behind these units as well. Getting his teleport just to follow up, and Gold is going to have a massive army. He's basically going to counterattack and win at this point. I'm a little surprised he hasn't built the Aerial Control Center, but if he does so, he will be pretty much done. Oh. Okay. First half of the units coming in. Mongoogie is about 
a minute and a half down from Golda, getting up his own forces, getting up his own Zion Pulsers. It, he hasn't got much of a chance, I'm afraid, though. It's really not going to work out too well. I am afraid, for Monkuki's sake, that Golda has this game. However, Monkuki is still trying hard, moving to the north, setting up an expansion here, just to make sure that he actually has something. These, these resource, pro or these crates, I should say, they are fairly important, so Monkuki will want to take them. He... He's not dealing with this in waves, though. That's one thing to point out. These Zion Churches back here are going to teleport in. Golda, about half a minute up from here, is teleporting them in. Or, actually, no, he's not. They have full skip teleport and are not being teleported in. Surprisingly enough, not sure what Golda is doing there. I think he might be simply mistaking that. Oh, sorry, Monkuki pointing out in the chat that he, what he saw was that Golda jumped back, he assumed an edge attack, and then Monkuki jumped back to check it but he missed it by a little, by a very short margin. Basically, he missed Golda's changes. That's what happened. He missed Golda's changes and could not respond to them. Granted, the amount of chrono energy that would have required would probably have meant that the changes wouldn't have been responded to anyway. I don't really think that the... Honestly, with the foundations that were in place, I don't even think that would have mattered. I think the only way that Monkey would have had a chance would have been to build the depot further outside the base, get about three or four Zion Pulsers, and then move in. However, there is a counterattack from Monkey coming in, while Golda attacks directly, and this Zion Pulsar not likely to do much damage, I'm afraid. Foundation's healing way too quickly. Well, Monkuki does try to, to protect himself at home, getting Teth Pulsars, believing that Golda's going to go for air units, but unfortunately for Monkuki, not the case, and Zion Pulsars won't be able to help out against the Teth Pulsars either, or sorry, Zion Churches either, and Foundation for Detection, but like I said, not going to help out too much. No real counters for these, these Zion Churches are in play, and honestly, that would just be the Zion Churches, or maybe Shin Churches. A Shin Churches would be more of a counter, but at this point, Monkuki does not have that, and this is going to be game. Monkuki's trying to counterattack as best he can, but Zion Churches are coming back here just to finish that off, and Zion Churches are also ripping apart Monkuki's base. That is game. That is, well, a bit of a short game, but it happens. That's, that's what happens when cheese fails. And no, I am not doing an Akron when cheese fails series before you ask. Because frankly, that would just be a series of every single Monkuki game I've casted so far where he's lost. And frankly, I think... I, Not to insult Monkuki, but I do think it's possible to have too much Monkuki. And I think that video would prove it. I'm not going to do that. However... Or video series, I should say. But yeah. If you want... If you want something like that for Akron, just watch the Monkuki cast where he loses. I'm not going to spoil which ones they are, but this is one of them. He really likes his depot rushes. Or, well, not just depot rushes. His foundation rushes, period. Not just depot rushes. So, this is his game, and just waiting for Monkuki. <laughs> Well, okay, to be fair, if there is, if it is possible to have Doom from then people will just be quite sick of my Acorn cast to begin with, because I don't think I've gone a week for the last three months without having at least two Mon one or two Monkuki casts. Let's see, double checking my Acorn cast playlist. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will be back with another match in just a moment, which won't involve Monkuki, but yeah, let's see. Last week was all Monkuki. Before that had Monkuki in it, that had Monkuki, that had... Actually, it was a week of Cybernetic Pony only. Oh, never mind. There was... No, there was two weeks that were... Just Cybernetic Pony, actually. Yeah, Cybernetic Pony and Jericho. No, never mind. That was Monkuki. So, yeah. I guess if it is possible to have too much Monkuki, then that's my entire show down the drain. Or at least the Acron portion of it. Anyway, I'll be back with another match in just a moment. It'll be a match between... Cybernetic Pony and Catalyte on Withering Dunes, which I have not shown in a very long time. I think it's been at least a year since Withering Dunes has been played, or at least been shown in a cast. So I will be coming up with that in just a moment. Stay tuned. <laughs> 